how can you create your own fabric portfolio folder here are my best tips and tricks when you get to the end of this video you will receive a free gift from me so stay tuned my name is Oksanta. I have been a self-employed textile designer for over 15 years now and I am a founder of Oksanta Textile Design Studio and Online School. Here is my own fabric uh, design portfolio that I created for myself a few years ago and I uh, found it super useful for organizing my swatches, for um, presenting my work for creating content for social media and i will tell you how i uh, created it and i will give you a few very useful tips how you can customize and improve upon this uh, little folder even more to create something of your own so here is the little folder i got this folder it's a simple folder i think it comes in a pack of uh, five I, I mean, if I'm not mistaken on Amazon and um, they are actually very very useful as little portfolios for fabric swatches uh, the link will be in the description under this video for all the products and tools that I am using and websites that I'm mentioning so you can check them out and basically I like this folder because it fits the size of the fabric swatch that um, you can purchase when on a uh, spoon flower for your own fabric so these come from on a simple cotton fabric from uh, my spoon flower fabric shop and it has my California collection and some other pattern designs uh, that I have uh, here and it can fit quite a lot of fabric it has these big three big clips and I do, did not make any holes in the fabric I just clipped them together after I decided on which pattern comes after which uh, design all right also it has the clear pocket right here so that you can put your uh, print your own cover and the same goes for the back cover i chose one of my fab patterns uh, from earlier and this is my logo and i also added here the name of my uh, studio and school and my website right here very very simple design but effective and if you want to have a series of these little portfolios let's say um, a few different folders like this you can exchange the pattern here and you can maybe give it a number or uh, change the color of the logo so you will have your own little series to store your patterns watches uh, neatly and uh, be very organized what I also like about this folder is that it has these little po plastic pockets on both sides where I store postcards with my designs as well. The little postcards that I printed, I like to store them here, just a selection of them, not all of them, but just a selection of different ones with different designs. Okay, another thing that I want to mention here for the, is about the fabric. The fabric, um, it's, if, you, if it's a fabric that like a simple cotton fabric, it will fray. So this will fray and you'll have a lot of un, uh, not very neat uh, threads sticking out. So what I recommend is to purchase the special scissors like these, which have little uh, triangle uh, teeth. So when you crop these designs when you basically cut out these little swatches you will be able to make these little teeth on the very edge of the fabric so that you can uh, keep them nice and neat without fraying as much so this is a super cool trick uh, that i figured out and i wanted to share with you today a uh, very very good investment for a fabric designer here is the file that i used for the fabric in Adobe Illustrator. It's a very simple file for front and back of the cover. And I just printed it on my home printer, uh, cut it out to the size and insert it into the clear pockets. Please give this video a like if you find it helpful so far. It really, really helps my videos to spread all over YouTube. Thank you so, so much for your support. A few ideas for you to add if you want to improve upon this simple design. First of all, you can um, add the pages in a medium sized paper or cardstock into this little folder, attach the tops, uh, glue the tops of the fabrics into these 
pages and then add on the other side add the sketch or a printout of your sketch um, so that you can show a little bit more of a process behind your fabric which I, I'm thinking to do that for a next batch of designs that I create but basically I was thinking it's a cool idea to mention to you so if you want to try it out as well. And another interesting idea to try is to make a video of you flipping through the, uh, the swatches in your uh, little portfolio and talking about each design. Talk, uh, if it's a collection, talk about the collection. And another interesting thing would be to add uh, pictures of uh, the fabric being used. If you created something, let's say a dress with your fabric a pattern, take a picture of that or add a video to the video that you are creating about your uh, portfolio. So it doesn't necessarily only have to be a portfolio where that you take with you to conferences, which is very useful, um, but it can also be a great for your portfolio online, on your website, for a blog post, for a YouTube video, for Instagram, Facebook page. This is an interesting way to represent your work and to tell people more about your uh, designs. So today I shared with you how to create your own portfolio out of a simple folder and some fabric swatches featuring your designs of course and some interesting ideas and tips to try to make use of your portfolio yourself. If you want to learn more about uh, different types of portfolios, physical and digital, for repeat pattern designers, you are welcome to watch my uh, older video with textile design portfolio tips and examples, which you see right here on the info card right now on the screen. Please hit the like button if you found this video helpful. I really, really appreciate your support. Subscribe to my channel and hit that little notification bell uh, so that you will be notified when I post more videos. And share with your creative friends uh, who might want to create a portfolio of their own fabric designs just as you do. And just as I promised, here is uh, my pattern biz workshop. My gift to you, I filmed four uh, jam-packed with information long form videos uh, and turned them into a workshop that it has three worksheets just like this one so you can print out, work on your own business. It has lots and lots of information that I collected over 15 years as a textile designer and illustrator and graphic designer and you can learn starting today uh, the workshop videos are free for you uh, if you click on the info card in the corner of this video and register or the link will be in the description below also. I hope you check it out. I hope you uh, learn and start your own creative business as well. Thank you so much for watching Grow, Love and Create. I will see you in my next video. Bye!